So all these studies are from a local museum. They're from an exhibition called Body and Soul. And I would go down every week and sketch a few. I sketched a few every week. Um, as you can see, there's a number of different techniques that I'm using for these, just whatever I feel will be quickest. But I'm always looking at um, large shapes and then medium shapes and then small shapes so, uh, generally. I mean, not always, sometimes I go back and forwards a bit, but generally, it's, if I'm not making a sketch, that's how my, um, that's how my uh, brush size goes. When I am making a sketch, I'm thinking about similar things, but in the same way, I'm thinking about relationships, so I'm keeping stuff in mind, and um, I'm picking out shapes, uh, large shapes and related shapes, negative shapes and um, I'm looking at the overall image and trying to see the relationships between them. You'll see that my first guess, my best guess, is not always um, perfect and occasionally I have to change it or rethink those relationships. Uh, if I was doing these um, traditionally, and there's a few traditional ones I wasn't able to film uh, the process in the museum, but they show up at the end, and uh, I'm doing them straight with markers, so there's no sketch there. Uh, and um, the, some, of, some of it's a bit off, like they're a bit wonky, or, or um, you know, they're not perfect, but uh, I'm still thinking about the same things, and if my if my best guess is not perfect, I have to have to live with it. Uh, the, the advantage of digital is that you can manipulate stuff, and you'll see me do that occasionally. Um, I'm trying to emulate when it's an artwork, uh, when it's not like an object. I'm trying to emulate the uh, the style. So there's um, sort of watercolor paintings or ink sketches or. Um, stuff using charcoal or whatever so I'm trying to emulate that and um, I'm making a much you know a much rougher sk sketch usually than the original I'm making it in a fraction of the time I think uh, than the original artists did it but um, I'm still trying to learn something from them whether it's about composition or colour or flow or whatever. Uh, this one as you can see is a watercolour with some line work so I was kind of doing some sketching first and um, filling it in with the watercolour and uh, I'd go over and blur that you can see that I blend it afterwards um, but this next one coming up is and there's a a few of these that are emulating oil paint and have some brushes that, that blend um, as you paint, which is um, more like the real thing. I think watercolour is a bit awkward in, in a lot of programs uh, digitally to emulate. It takes, takes quite a bit of work to do. Oh yeah, you, you can see I'm sketching in on the face there, I use quite a small, small brush and um, sketched in some detail. I think I was having some problem getting the character of, of this painting across, and uh, I still make some adjustments uh, later in the day, get it uh, a lot closer. But that sketch of of mine at that point was um, an attempt to to get it get it closer to um, how the original looked and you can see me cheating at the end doing a bit of an airbrush no, no, it's not yeah this is a good one you can you can see very clearly big medium small brush um, moving from those those large shapes getting those right 
this sort of speed painting is generally how I'm painting um, the, the 3D objects in the museum. And now we're back to another oil painting now. It's an old oil painting. And this one's largely monochromatic, apart from the face. You see me um, putting in some colour and some detail around the face and neck and stuff. And um, there's some some indistinct areas which are, I kind of use an airbrush, hit those and, and, and make them less distinct. Um, and this plate here, there's um, a sort of pattern on it, and I do that on a separate layer. Although I'm hinting at it here, uh, I do it on a separate layer, and then I. Um, manipulate that into shape on the, on the thing, and these are these are just the uh, the physical the traditional sketches. Thank you for watching.